Bloody Roar, known as Bloody Roar, Hyper Beast Duel in Europe and Japan, is a fighting video game originally developed by Rising now aiding, as an arcade game. It was later adapted for the PlayStation by Hudson Soft and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation. The arcade version was released on July 7, 1997 and was titled Beasterizer in North America. The PlayStation version was released in Japan on November 6, 1997, in North America under the title Bloody Roar on October 31, 1997 and in Europe on March 1998. Bloody Roar is the first game in the Bloody Roar video game series and was followed by four sequels on multiple platforms. The game's story centers on a group of warriors known as Zoanthropes, who have the power to transform into half-human half-animal beasts and the Tylon Corporation, an underground organization that seeks to use zoanthropes as mind-controlled weapons. The game received generally positive reviews from critics for its originality and graphics, while the audio received mixed opinions. The game's success resulted in its re-release for the best range on October 14, 1999. The game was re-released on the PlayStation Network in North America on August 20, 2009. Topic. Gameplay At the beginning of each stage, both players have a set amount of energy that is used to activate Beast Mode, which causes the character to change into a beast. Players may transform at any time after the letter B appears in the Beast Indicator below the player's life energy indicators. The Beast Indicator appears blue when storing the energy needed for transforming. When the beast indicator is fully charged, the word beast appears, and the player can activate beast mode by pressing a certain button. During beast mode, the amount of fighting moves available to the character increases, the character becomes heavier, 3% of the character's life energy recovers and the character's jumping ability increases. While in beast mode, the beast indicator turns yellow. The yellow area decreases according to damage sustained by the character. The yellow area does not recharge during the current round. When the yellow area completely depletes, the beast mode will negate when the character is hit by an effective technique from the opponent. Topic: <laughs> Story and characters. Yugo Agami, Da Shen Yang Wu Agami Yugo, is a young wolf zoanthrope on a quest to uncover the circumstances of his father's death. His father, Yuji Agami, Da Shen Yang Er Agami Yuji, was a mercenary said to have died in combat in a South American country. Yugo also seeks the mercenary Gadu, the sole survivor of Yuji's combat unit. Yugo and Gadu eventually meet in a secret Tyran Corporation laboratory, where Gadu reveals that Yuji was a zoanthrope who fought against the Tyran Corporation's mind control experiments and conversion process. Yugo then promises his father that he will destroy their enemies with the powers that he inherited from him. Alan Gadu, Aaron Gadu, Aaron Gado, is a French lion zoanthrope, a professional mercenary and military genius who took part in a mission with his best friend and Yugo's father, Yuji, years ago. On that day, his union of armies was crushed by a combined force of superior zoanthropes and a hostile army that appeared out of nowhere. Gadu was seriously injured in the battle and lost his sight in one eye. Afterward, he went off to search for Yuji and discover the identity of the enemy. At the end of the game, he destroys the Tyran Corporation, finally exacting revenge for Yuji. After Gadu's arrest, police discover the Tyran Corporation's secret lab and accumulate enough evidence against the Tyran Corporation to drop charges against Gadu. Afterward, desiring the thrill of battle, Gadu returns to the battlefield and promises Yuji that they will meet again in the heavens. Bakuryu, Bakuryu, Bakuryu is a mole zoanthrope and a self styled master of the traditional ninja arts. His personal details are veiled in secrecy and his existence is a mystery. An expert in assassination, he was enlisted in an infamous underground organization and put in charge of sabotage and the abduction of zoanthropes for experimentation. After the events of the story, Bakurayu's molecules destabilize, causing his body to completely decompose. As a result, the scientists of the Tyran Corporation decide to concentrate their efforts on a new conversion process. Mitsuko Nanamura, Yi, Kun Guangzi Nanamura Mitsuko, is a wild sow zoanthrope and everyday housewife with a massive body and generous nature. 
After her daughter, who is also a zoanthrope, was abducted, she went on a quest to find her, the only clue being the kidnapper's steely eyes and insanely sardonic grin. At the end of the game, she discovers her daughter Eriko and brings her home, where they lead a peaceful life. Jin Long, Jin Long, Jin Ron is a Chinese tiger zoanthrope who curses his fate and zoanthrope blood. When he was a child, his mother and younger sister died one after the other. Neglected by his workaholic father, Long ran away from his home. Afterward, his great skills in the martial arts and zoanthrope powers brought him recognition, and he was enlisted by an underground assassination unit. After the events of the story, Long seals himself away from the world due to his zoanthrope blood. Alice Sukagami, Zhang Shen Arisu Sukagami Arisu, is a rabbit zoanthrope who was kidnapped as a child by a secret research institution that conspired to use zoanthropes as weapons. After being subjected to physical experimentation, her latent powers were awakened, after which she was used as a test subject and given battle training. However, she managed to escape the institution before being brainwashed, earning herself the freedom she had long sought. While hiding herself to regain her composure, she began to worry about a girl that Alice befriended in the institution. Because the girl sacrificed herself by distracting Alice's pursuers during her escape, Alice decided to come out of hiding and fight against the institution. After the events of the story, Alice is adopted by her aunt Mitsuko and lives a peaceful life as a part of her family. Gregory Jones, Gurigori Jo Nizu Gurigori Janzu, Greg, Gregu Gregu, for short, is an American guerrilla zoanthrope who, in his youth, fulfilled his hope of running away to join a circus. Having a great talent for handling animals, he later took charge of the circus after the ringmaster retired. But with the rapid changes in the entertainment industry, the circus eventually went bankrupt and its members parted ways. After the events of the story, Greg tries to talk Hugo into joining his circus in an attempt to avert the circus's closure, but is eventually convinced into being the star himself. Hans Taubman, Hansu Ta Buman Hansu Tabuman, nicknamed Fox, Fakusu Fakusu, is an English fox zoanthrope with a warped mind and heightened aesthetic sense. He is obsessed with beauty and despises ugly things, boasting of his good looks and publicly declaring all else ugly. Abandoned as a child and raised in the slums, he grew up into a well-known scoundrel. He earned the nickname of Fox from his wariness and cruelty in beating up even the very weakest. He works for the organization in the same unit as Bakuryu and engages in such activities as kidnapping and murder. After the events of the story, Fox kills another civilian, but is shocked to discover that it is his own mother. Development Bloody Roar was originally released as an arcade game titled Beasterizer in America, and was shown at the Electronic Entertainment Expo under the title. The visual design of the game was created by Mitsuakira Tatsuda who also designed the characters of the game and Shinsuke Yamakawa. Bloody Roar was re-released on the PlayStation Network in North America on August 20, 2009. Topic. Reception Bloody Roar received generally positive reviews from critics, and its success resulted in its re-release for the best range on October 14, 1999. Sushi X of Electronic Gaming Monthly said that the game's visuals "...definitely look good, but to see these characters engage in flashy combat is even more impressive." Douglas Perry of IGN noted that the graphics had "...great shadows." and detailed textures in both the background and on the characters, but added that while the character design was cool looking, it was not addictive or moving. Jeff Gerstmann of GameSpot stated that the game's graphics were every bit as good as the arcade version. Perry noted that the high frame rates and a speedy graphic engine enable moves to be executed quickly and without weight. Gerstmann said that the game runs fast and very smoothly, and that the game's moves are very dynamic, resulting in a lot of oohs and ahs as a wolf bites a chunk out of his opponent's neck and blood spurts everywhere, splattering on the ground. Perry admitted that he actually liked half of the tunes, while half of them sound like they've been ripped off from forgettable 80s heavy metal tunes. On the voice acting, he noted that the only character sounds he found annoying were those from the character Alice, comparing her to both a broken record and Demonica from the Nintendo 64 video game Dark Rift. 
Gerstmann passed the music off as typical fighting game fare, but said that the sound effects were really great. <laughs> Notes <laughs>